Hello and welcome to Dussel Do Nicely, Boom Banger Blogs roundup of all that's going on song-wise and singer-centric in the run-up to the 56th Eurovision Song Contest to be held at the Esperi Arena in Dusseldorf, Germany next May thanks to Lena winning this year with Satellite. 31 countries have officially confirmed they will be joining in all the fun of Eurovision week, two definitely won't be going, three more have announced they are definitely thinking about coming, there is a handful we would be very surprised to see turn up in Dusseldorf, while there are others who haven't indicated either way what their plans are, but are unlikely not to come along. Then there's a matter of a possible debut from Liechtenstein, and could 2011 be the year that Italy makes its Eurovision comeback? I don't actually know the answer to that question, it's rhetorical. In this first episode of Dussel Do Nicely, we'll be looking at all the song picking planned for December. Yes, although the contest is still six months away, three countries in particular are poised to make their choice for Germany. On December the 11th, Switzerland will tick its chosen box for Dusseldorf. Twelve songs will be performed on live telly, and three of those have already been picked by listeners to German-speaking radio station DRS3 in an internet pre-selection. The triumphant triumvirate are this one. That one. And this one too. The remaining nine places will be divvied up between broadcasters who represent the many official languages spoken in La Suisse. Italian speaking broadcaster has already given its slot on the 12 to this song here. asking the public what they thought. French-speaking RTS has also bagsied its own spot on the 12 and won't be asking the public what song they should put in either. Now if you've been keeping up that leaves seven spots in the final. These will be chosen by a mixture of jury and public vote from the 327 songs submitted. Apparently the very first Eurovision winner, Lys Assia, missed the deadline for song submission by one day. She is nearly 90, so by the time she unravelled how the preliminary selection stage had worked, watched Countdown, then watched a repeat of Heartbeat, then had a nice cup of tea, it was too late to put her song in. Poor cow. Moving away from matters Swiss, just over two weeks after their selection is done and dusted, Albania will choose its 8th Eurovision entry on Christmas Day itself. The Festivali Kengas is usually the first national final of the season, so let's hope the Albanians don't get too harumphy about Switzerland beating them to it. It's a bit mean of the Swiss, as the Albanians need cheering up after the death of Norman Wisdom, bless him. Anyway, the presenter of the show has been announced as singer-songwriter Yonida Maliki. I have all her albums. And the full list of songs will be whittled down over two heats on December 23rd and 24th. That's Christmas Eve and Christmas Eve Eve. I have no other news other than that. Albania-wise, I'm spent. But one place where the shortlist has been revealed is in Romania, where the national final is taking place a lot earlier than usual. The choosing will be done on 2011 Eve itself, December 31st. And even though Romania took bronze in Oslo with the rather marvellous Playing With Fire, that hasn't inspired the nation's songwriters to go two places higher. Only 77 songs were put forward to the telly people who run that national final. The unsuperstitious organisers of that final have put forward 13 songs for the viewers' delectation at the end of next month, and they're already available to listen to online. Here's one. Here's another one. this one too. Do you want to hear another one? Okay, here you go. I 
So, what have we learned? In about seven weeks from now, we will know the first three entries of the 2011 Eurovision Song Contest, and it will still only be 2010. It's all just a little bit impatient. But in the next edition of Dussel Do Nicely, the dreary month of January comes under the spotlight, when those kind souls in Belgium and the Netherlands have decided to give their populace a lift by staging their Eurovision National Final. And if you can't wait that long, here's three seconds of a, of a potential Belgian entry. Ah. Goodbye.